What up, you two? It's your boy Ryan back, man. With another ass, you got the downfall of Pretty Boy Fredo from 2K Go, the supposed blogging scammer, man. That boy Fredo was a goat, but 2K16, but 17, too. But 17, it was really, hold on, 16 was really his year to me. 17, it was too many niggas, boy. Hey, Mark, they wasn't big, but they was like niggas I used to watch, like dribble guys and shit. My nigga DJ, why DJ, man? Ooh, shit. Ty go crazy. Um, it's way more. I just can't really think. My boy, I run you. Mm, impetual. Come on. I know so many niggas, bro. But let's do it. God. Boy, you broke the fuck out of that. Ain't no way he cried, though. That guy be fake. Now it seems like every couple of months there is another veteran YouTuber that has been on the platform for a couple of years being exposed. Now the YouTuber in question yes. that we are going to talk about today is 27 year old Pretty Boy Fredo. Fredo has been on YouTube for almost 7 years now with his first upload to the platform being titled NBA 2K15 Xbox 360 Review and Gameplay. That video was uploaded on October 2K15 36 Xbox 360 but you supposed to have the, the next gen by then. Hold on. That video was uploaded Never mind. I don't know if I heard that right. The top with the NBA 2K community. Pretty Boy Fredo would take over the 2K community and would reach his first big milestone of 100,000 subscribers on January 1st. Yes, sir. About a year and two months after posting his first video to his channel, and in just eight months after hitting. I thought I'd go stupid on that ball. That, that ball and what's the name? It don't look that hard. 2016. Now it's good to point out. That around this time he would start to branch out from the NBA 2K content and would throw in some vlogs, yep. story time videos, and prank videos into his Facts. content. With this added content to Fredo's YouTube channel, it wasn't long before we saw him hit two million subscribers. On December of So that million million when that boy was happy, Fredo man. One hundred million subscribers, Fredo would gain another million subscribers before the end of the year. This was a huge year for Fredo. Not only did he hit two million subscribers, they put him back in that bit, what? Would get over a million views. Now, 2017 was a huge year for Fredo. Not only would he gain over another million subscribers, oh. but he would also upload his most viewed video. On March 12, 2017, Fredo would post a video titled Marriage Proposal Gone Wrong. She said no. This video would gain over 53 million views to this day and would help blow up oh, yeah. his channel. This was also the year that Fredo would really start to leave behind his 2K legacy of Clamp God. In 2017, Fredo would only post 7 2K related videos, and after 2017, Fredo would practically never upload another 2K <laughs> video. But 2017 saw Fredo do a lot of great acts of kindness. One of the greatest things he would do that year was meet up and take a kid named Elias to an Orlando Magic NBA court. I heard bad had stuff about this, I ain't gonna lie. Fredo would also get Elias a bunch of gifts. See, this wasn't a regular fan. This person had five heart surgeries, and in Fredo's words, was a make a wish kid. And Elias really wanted to meet Fredo as well. The video would end with Fredo giving Elias a ride in his Jaguar, and then would take Elias out to eat. And finally, Fredo would take Elias back. Y'all boys follow my IG, man. No cap. Top right, man. No cap. generosity, but remember, even salt can look like sugar. So remember this part of the video once we move to Fredo's downfall. Now we get to the year of 2018. See, 2018 wasn't the best year for Fredo. This was a year where Fredo would collab with more content creators. One of these creators being DDG. In August of 2018, oh, yeah. Fredo would play 1v1. DDG would end up beating Fredo in the first game, and Fredo, not being someone that wants to lose, has to run it back. Okay. In the second game, Fredo was calling a bunch of fouls and also committing a bunch of fouls. This second game was intense and was never finished. DDG and McQueen ended up leaving the gym that day, and the beef between DDG and Fredo would be born. Here is parts of that fight. You know how mad I'll be though. The tip me out like you fouling no purpose and they still make it, bro. <laughs> oh we <laughs> Yeah, Nick he cheated right there. Yeah, he cheated for sure right there. Yeah, he cheated right there. He probably did push him but you was fouling though. I'm weak. Talk to me. Playing like a bitch. If it ain't my ball, I'm out. 
<laughs> he said he prayer like it. Oh, wait. He said if it ain't his ball, then he out. Peace. My ball. Brady will post a video titled My Last Video, deleting this channel for good. Oh, and I'm yeah. Not sure if That's that famous meme right there. In this video that he made in his car after the basketball game, or if it was directed at someone else, but this would start to show <sighs> Brady's breaking point. Now, throughout the year, Brady was pushing the boundaries of his content. No longer was he making fake prank videos. Now he was making fake catching a child predator videos. Now these Remember videos cannot be found on Fredo's YouTube channel and are either deleted or privated <laughs> so people cannot watch them. But there were some content creators that had issues Hold with on. posting that type of content for views. Agent would be one of the content creators that would call Fredo out on a video titled Fredo, your fake pranks are making the world a worse place. This is Here's idea. what Agent had to say. Why? Dude, why is he why is he hyping this up like the evil villain? Oh, How is anybody else not disgusted by Whoa, this? this nigga agent really did lose a lot of weight. I didn't remember him being that big, bro. Hey, this shit agent for real, man. Not disgusted by this. The only people I talk to that can see through this is other YouTubers. And so to get to the point in your life where you're like, all right, man, here's what we're going to do. We're going to catch pedophile. Then it gets even weirder because he puts things like XXX in the tags of his Facts. That dope no other websites exist. Of course, during this time, Fredo and Jasmine were separated, so yeah. Fredo was free to do whatever he wanted. And eventually, Ooh, they got a quick wow hoop on the air. Where Jasmine and Fredo would talk through their issues. That video would be 48 minutes long, and at the very end of the month, Fredo would make a video titled Dear Jasmine, Pontiac Made DVG, and 2K Community. In this video, he would talk about his reasoning for leaving the 2K community. He would say that the reason that he left was because he started to become extremely angry and was becoming someone that he wasn't and that he started to hate 2k Here's facts 18 was a garbage bro hey 22 i feel like that shit finna be one of the best though i ain't gonna i'm finna stream that shit too on this channel bro i'm gonna go stupid That's a fact. It's a fact, bro. Mostly, if a nigga hate on you, bro. Nah, I'm not gonna say all, but most of them, they want to be in, like, what they want, what you have, and they want to be in your shoes, bro. So that is, I ain't gonna lie, that's even with me. Like, I don't hate on people, but, like, sometimes I can catch myself being jealous on pe jealous of people because I, I wish, like, I had what they had. But, like, that's what makes me, like, figure out that's the, that's a fact. Like, you hate on people that you want to, you want, like, to be like or want to be them. That, like, that's what it really is, bro. Or if you're just miserable as fuck. But, no, nah, I don't publicly hate on no one, though. Like, just go on social media. This nigga sucks. This nigga is lame. Blah, blah. Nah, that'll never be me. I won't even, like, if, if anything, I keep it in my head. To be, but that's not good, though. Don't be jealous of nobody, bro. Don't do that. I don't know. I stopped. I think I stopped doing that, bro. Like, I'll be like, damn, man, this nigga lame, bro. I, that should be me on some shit. But yeah, man. I know how it is, bro. But I know everybody get their time, bro. Yeah, hell yeah, nigga. Nobody want to see a nigga text you talking crazy. Like, bro, what? It's a game, but you talking too crazy for a game, boy. Nobody want to see that. Some niggas get to talking so crazy, too. <laughs> yeah, nobody want to see that. It's a fact. 
Club. That's a fucking fact. Fredo to six million subscribers. Now we get to 2020, one of the worst years for a lot of people, with the pandemic and having to be away from loved ones. But Fredo wouldn't do that. Fredo held a meetup in New York where a huge group of people would show up in the middle of a pandemic. Many content creators talked about Fredo being irresponsible with his fans and also talked about how Fredo tested positive for the virus just two weeks beforehand. Agent would yeah. chime in and here's what Agent would say. I am is gonna be like, oh well, why would Agent say something? Yeah, anything would make it two videos. Video, he muted his entire comment section and pinned only one post, which is his, and he says this. Wishing death upon an innocent child is disgusting. You deserve to be cancelled. You might be wondering, when did I do that? Well, that's what I was wondering <laughs> when I watched the video. Well, let's listen to Fredo say it in his words. I'm gonna tell you guys the worst part about it all. This I think he sleep be going a little crazy sometimes. That's a fact. Big focus throughout the entirety of his video that I said that about his daughter. When in reality, not only have I not said that, but I have said nothing to inspire any of the people that watch me to say that. Now, the Twitter account in question that he's referencing here is deleted. I was curious who this guy was that I was getting blamed for. No affiliation here. So I went through the archive. And the only interaction between me and him in the month his Twitter account was, <laughs> yeah. was being called Cap on July 9th. About a tweet I made. I don't even know what tweet that is. But there is five instances here. Boom, 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 boom. Of him joining your giveaways, Fredo. So who knows what this guy's motivation was? Why did he say that, bro? Things, but to argue that it was me, why did he say that it was him? That was kind of weird. Anything is crazy. This was the third video after Fredo's reaction. I feel like it was easier to get the full scoop of Agent's video. If I just put it in the last one. Now, a year later, Fredo would post a video titled SSH member gets exposed for scamming and knocked out by his victim, CEO Mikey. In this yep, video, I remember this. he would expose CEO Mikey, who was part of SSH, for scamming Fredo's fans. The video would display Mikey boxing two guys and then would be kicked out of They SSH. really started hating on my boy Fredo, though. Mikey would post like, people like, everybody just against that man, though. I see, I guess I got y'all reasons, but like, this man a goat to me though. But if maybe if he did some of the stuff I guess to y'all, they did to me, I wouldn't mess with him either, I don't know. But yeah, that boy is a 2K goat though. For sure. He kicked out of the SSH. For sure. The same day, May 4th, Mikey would post his own video titled Surviving Pretty Boy Fredo Part 1. CEO Mikey would state that Fredo was scamming and lying to his fans, and how Fredo was faking his content. He also said that he wasn't comfortable with some of the things Fredo was making him do, but because of his loyalty towards Fredo, he would do them anyways. Here's parts of that video. You've made me do things that I wasn't comfortable doing. You've made, you've, you've lied on my name countless times. You've made, you've made so much money off of me that I haven't seen a dime. He came to my house, he broke my TV, he made a mess, and my mom could vouch for this. I would dead ass get my mom on camera. My mom could vouch for this. He dead ass, he just made a mess, and he did. I had to clean everything up. Only thing he's reimbursed me for was for the TV. Talking about this scamming, this scamming, that scamming, that Fredo, you are the biggest scammer on the planet, Fredo. I swear to God. <laughs> you guys know about that maiden hype shit, maiden hype, uh, uh, this and that, when he was selling SSH hoodie and like NBA logo shirts and that. The nigga behind that website was Alfredo Villa. And you guys know this how y'all never got your SSH hoodies, y'all never got none of y'all merch. That's fucked up, bro. Right? That's messed up. The, the, he still could have like that's why I don't get when niggas scam bro. It's you can't if you scam merch that is crazy. Nigga how hard is it to make merch and why would you scam them? You still making the money, bro. You just giving away clothes for money. Like I don't never I don't never understand like why would you ever scam merch? You ha it's not like you can't it's not like it's something exclusive. I don't get it. Why would you scam my merch, though? That's just something that I'm really trying to think about. Nigga, it's merch. You, it's going to be copy like plenty of the same shit you sending out to everybody. Why do you have to scam that? I don't get it. You know, I like, 
it would be different if you like trying to sell some shoes and you're like these are my only shoes or like these are my only this is my favorite pair of shoes so you just take that nigga shit that's i'm not saying that's right but that makes more sense but if you just gonna scam a nigga and you got pl- it, maybe you never made the merch how about that maybe you never made the merch but if you made the merch and you just did that that was lame i ain't gonna lie It makes no sense. I don't get that. That's messed up. That's fucked up, bro. Because I would man, that's... But, see, it's like... It shows how the type of person Mikey is, though, bro. You supposed to... You not supposed to feel right in that situation, bro. That's why I feel like I don't want to move to L.A. or get around wrong niggas. Because like, I feel like niggas going to change me and make me do shit I'm not comfortable doing. And make me get used to doing shit I'm not comfortable doing. So now, like, I'm a, just a changed person. Like, what if he wasn't cool with the scamming shit, but he even got used to it so much. Now he became a scammer or not. Like, you feel me, bro? Nick, I don't want to be around the wrong people, bro. I would never want to be changed. That's something about me. That's why I want to stay, like, where I'm at in the South somewhere. Might go to the A. Texas, I heard Houston, Houston, a good place to go. I don't know whenever I get my shit up. But what's the name? LA, I don't know about you. I don't know about you, boy. LA, I don't know about you, boy. I don't even mess with cats like that anyway. I just like staying where I'm at. Nigga will never change me. If a nigga changed me, boy, I was not aware, bro. Because, like, People don't be aware to be changing. Like, that's something I'm prided. Like, I, I will, man, if I change, bro, that's going to be crazy. I don't feel like a lame man nigga changing. Like, on my own people, just in general, bro. A week later, Mikey would post surviving Pretty Boy Kredo Part 2. In this video, he would FaceTime some of the people that used to be associated with Kredo. One person in particular was Elias. Here's what Elias? Oh, that, okay. I thought you said my boy. Nah, nah, nation, AB, man, I Elias, Kinsey, all them. It, bro. Dude, that in my of a female, though. Like, you know, I have a female that could just make up anything but don't mean it and just be capping. Like, bro. I know y'all heard about that. Like, a female can see a big ass paragraph and don't mean it or she'll be lying. But yeah, that's what I mean. So, look. This man typed all that and didn't mean it, bro. Come on, Fredo. Come on, bro. Like, I really mess with Fredo. Like, I still be watching some of his videos a little bit. Like, I never, like, even all this negative shit, I never, like, unfollow. No, I think he did make me unfollow him. I'm about to unfollow him right now. I mean, follow him right now. Because even though after all this, I still mess with Fredo, bro, because he's just a legend. I don't remember unfollowing him, though. Why they make me unfollow him? I don't know when that happened, but um, maybe when I clear my follow. But, yeah. Like, I just, like, I just hope this man... Like, I don't hear no more negative shit, bro. From now on, bro. Like, just go, go on the streak of just doing good shit. Just teeing up on the tube, man. Cause, like, a lot of this shit is just messed up to me. God. 
So remember what I said, that salt can look like sugar. That's what I meant. The video was really nice with Fredo bringing Elias out and getting salt can look like Elias sugar. That's video. crazy. But there was also Ooh, that's crazy. I like that one though. And that was to get Never heard that. Elias and his story. Fredo has yet to respond in a video to the second video that CEO Mikey would upload. Now it's hard to say if Fredo will actually fall off. This past month, it's been rare to see any of his videos get over a million views. And in the month of Nah, I don't Fredo care, bro. If you still getting at least 500k each video, you straight to me. I don't think my boy gonna fall off, man. Subscribers and in total, with and if he keep doing shit, maybe, but I think he gonna bounce back, bro. Well, hold on, hold on. He's just such a lot of negative shit around this nigga name, bro. Dang. Fredo would lose 20,000 subscribers oh, and in total shit. would lose 30,000 subscribers in the span of two months. That is a lot of That's a lot. Over a year. Fredo would try and silence Mikey, would try and take his report, try yeah. to scare him, and would try and make Mikey stop posting them. Fredo was once a huge YouTuber and was on track to hit 10 million subscribers really soon. Facts. But with so many exposed videos coming out and so many people coming out against Fredo, his subscriber count has stagnated at 7.8. Subscribers. I do hope that Fredo does change for the better and his platform will grow from that. But until Fredo figures out exactly what he has to change and comes clean about scamming his fans, that will never change. But anyways, thank you for watching. And if you did enjoy the video, leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the video out and the channel out. Hey man. It's a fact. <sighs> I don't even know really what to say, man. Make sure I boys follow my IG like right here. I don't know where it's at really. Give me the 2.7k. Make sure I hit the like button, hit the sub button, man. I'm out, man. No